Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to style the Adidas Samba shoes. Now this is going to apply to the Samba Classic and the Samba OG. If you guys want to know the difference between them, I made a whole video on that. It'll be on the top right corner of the screen and I'll be leaving a link in the description as well as a link to a review of the Samba OG for those interested. I'm also going to be leaving a link to an Amazon list I made. Now this list contains a couple of the clothes that I use in this video, but it also contains clothes from brands and styles that I like and that go with the shoe. So go check that out after you guys finish the video. So the Samba Trainer is a very popular shoe in the Adidas lineup. The classics are originally indoor soccer shoes, but they became popular off the field, hence why Adidas came out with the OG for the street. We're going to be talking color palettes and then we're going to be looking at some outfit ideas. So let's get into it. The color palette of the shoe is very neutral. We got white, beige, some chocolate colors and black. That neutral palette makes the shoe pretty easy to style with different clothes. In my opinion, the color tones that complement the shoe the best are going to be more muted toned down colors or light muted pastel light colors. I would avoid more vibrant colors like straight RGB. For example, instead of green, go with olive. Instead of red, go with burgundy. And instead of yellow, go with the caramel color. Essentially, the color palettes that you should be leaning towards are gonna be more neutral and earthy palettes. These palettes, in my opinion, are gonna help you maximize the look of the shoe. So now, let's look at some outfit examples. I had three outfit concepts that I tried to follow because I think they look best with the shoe. They are the all black outfit slash black jeans fits, fall winter outfits, and lastly the loungewear outfits. So most of the fits are going to follow one or more of these concepts so keep that in mind as I go through these. Starting off with the all black fits, the first fit we have is a very simple one. It's kind of a date night outfit. We have a Kenneth Cole black tee with some white lining on it. and Kenneth Cole slim black jeans that look skinny because they shrunk in the wash, unfortunately. Fun fact, the t-shirt style is called a jersey ringer tee. So if you guys like the t-shirt style, now you know. I feel like this style of t-shirt looks so much better than just a regular plain black t-shirt. It gives the fit a much more elevated feel to it. Next we have an autumn all black fit. We have a black H&M turtleneck sweater. And the reason why I like the all black fits more for the shoe than just like an all white shoe is because the Samba has more going on. We have the stripes, we have the different color tones. So when it's paired with all black, all those details of the shoe really pop and stand out nicely. Here I paired it with a black H&M peacoat and overcoat. You guys are gonna see lots of H&M here. I'm a pretty big fan. Clothes are cheap, they look good, fit good. Next, I have these two fits with the same black jeans. First one I paired with a Calvin Klein jean jacket the other with a knitted cardigan. Both give a really nice subtle pop of color while making the shoe stand out. I love denim with this shoe. It just goes so nicely with the white and beige colors of it. Don't be afraid to experiment with it. One more fit with the black jeans, a night out type fit with the camp collar shirt from Cotton Eye. It's got a loud pattern to it, but the muted colors of the shirt definitely help complement the shoe without taking away from it. Here I tried pairing them with shorts. We have some black Calvin Klein sweat shorts and a basic toned down red shirt. I wasn't too happy with this. I feel like the shoes look way better with jeans, pants, joggers, anything other than shorts really. I do feel like they look better with more active wear shorts. In this outfit we have a basic cream colored shirt from Cotton On with some black Calvin Klein active shorts. I thought this outfit with these shorts looked better than the last one. Let me know what you guys think, which one looked better, and what do you guys think of these shoes with shorts? Next, I paired them with some relaxed 505 jeans. We have a striped cotton on t-shirt as well. Very relaxing fit. Again, the shirt has those toned down colors that really help complement the shoe while not looking too matchy-matchy. 
The pants drape over the shoes nicely, giving that really relaxed look to it. This is one of my favorites. I really like the thin white jacket from H&M. I wore it with a basic black t-shirt and I paired it with some relaxed jeans that I thrifted. I also cuffed them for a cleaner look. I really like how this one came out. Just a really nice, clean, light colored outfit. Going for more autumn colored fits. First, I have this outfit. We have the white Calvin Klein sweater with some gray trimming on it. And I paired that with some dark brown Dickies pants. Very clean, very simple. Next, we got a burgundy thermal from American Eagle, and I paired that with some dark navy raw denim jeans from Express. Again, really clean. It complements the shoe really well. This outfit makes use of those really dark toned down colors that really help bring out the shoe. This outfit I also really liked. I thought I color blocked it pretty well. We have a caramel knit sweater from H&M paired with some really nice olive pants from Dickies. Again, notice the toned down color palettes that pair super nicely with the shoe. Lastly, we have the loungewear fit. Now this is gonna be where the shoe really, really shines because loungewear tends to gravitate towards neutral colors as well as the aforementioned muted or toned down colors in earthy palettes. I have a black Calvin Klein sweater and gray sweatpants. Taking inspiration from that Jerry Lorenzo picture, jogger style sweatpants look really good with these. You guys can go for a matching sweatsuit. I would recommend going for a matching sweatsuit look. Like imagine a blue pastel sweatsuit with these. I don't have any pastels in my closet unfortunately, so I couldn't give you guys any examples. But like I mentioned, I think pastels and light muted colors are another great option to pair with these sambas. So definitely experiment with that. So let's recap. You're going to want to wear the sambas with neutral colors, muted colors, whether it's dark muted or light muted pastels. When in doubt, black it out. The fall and winter seasons are the shoes favorite. The samba likes to chill, so definitely pair it with loungewear. Denim is your friend, use it. Shorts are a mixed bag, proceed with caution. And lastly, less is more with this shoe, so strive for minimal. Like I mentioned before, go check out the Amazon list for the clothes that I picked out for the Sambas. Link is down in the description. I hope you guys got some good inspiration for outfits with this video. I hope it was helpful to you guys. Let me know if it was helpful down in the comments. Also, let me know what do you guys wear with the Sambas. Comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, guys, I just want to thank you guys so much for 3000 subscribers. We're almost at 4,000 now. I know I haven't been uploading as frequently as I probably should, but just been busy with work and all, and, you know, just life in general. But anyways, again, guys, thank you guys so much for 3,000 subs. We're on our way to 5,000. That's going to be the next milestone, guys. And like I said before, I'll see you guys in the next one.